Look at this. It's so cute. Look at that tiny, tiny, tiny little souvenir spoon. It's not quite two and a half inches. A little more than two inches, but not two and a half. Look at that. It's like a little kid spoon. Very little. All right, and it's a New Hampshire farm spoon. And that cute. It's so tiny. No extra markings on it. But dear Lord, it's so tiny. Got a nice little farm there. New Hampshire. God, so little compared to the other two. Now the other two have jade handles. So these are souvenir spoons that are quite old because they surely don't make them like that no more. And they put like a scoop. This one, believe it or not, look at the jade on them. Beautiful. Nice. That's part of the handle. I think I got it backwards. Gotta go this way. From Mexico. This is Mexico spoon. Look at that. Completely different than the ones that we find today, huh? It's got Mexico written on the handle, and look at that. I wonder what the value of this spoon would be today. To have these markings, say Mexico, and to have such a big piece. I mean, it's almost as big as that little spoon, huh? Probably about an inch and a half of jade on there. That's something. All right. Then look at this other spoon. I'm in the spoon collecting here. Kind of looks like the same, but the jade's different. Lighter. Look at that. And this one says Cancun. A Cancun spoon. Look at their beautiful markings. Ain't that something? To have souvenir spoons that had jades on them. Isn't that something? I love it. As soon as I seen that, I was like, wow. Okay, this collection, not regular spoon case either. You know, that usually you just hang them all up. This one is actually in glass. So this is some of the old spoons. That's where this collection comes from. Except for that New Hampshire one, but I'm talking about the two jades. New Hampshire is the leftover of the collection I was showing you. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and be sure to check out the description in this video I have three books up for sale. Two are true stories. One was picked up by a screenplay writer and adapted into screenplay format for producers titled Broken Souls. And the other is a holiday classroom craft for teachers, grades K through 6. And you'll find more about the books right here in the description of this video, along with the ISBN numbers. And that's what you need to order up the books. You need those ISBN numbers. So grab the ISBN numbers and get yourself a good read at your favorite bookstore. If you're ordering online, Amazon has it. All right, for your convenience. If you're into donating, grab a couple of extra craft books and donate them to the local schools. Just drop them off at the office and let the teachers all share. Easy, easy instructions, many years of testing in three different schools. All right, bye-bye now.